hello everyone welcome to the channel in today's video we are going to learn about the distance function and we are going to learn this concept for both salesforce lightning as well as a classic interface that how we can use this distance function to calculate the distance between two points in salesforce so now let's proceed and understand what does we mean by a distance function first so distance function is one of the mathematical function of a salesforce that is used to calculate the distance between two points and uh, you always have to remember one thing that uh, it accepts the data type as a geolocation only and this distance function gives the result in miles in the kilometer whatever you want and uh, uh, there is one thing that uh, we are using the geolocation distance sometimes in degree minutes in second if you are using it in a degree minutes in set uh, seconds you have to set up the decimal place first while creating up the field for it because the uh, these degree minutes and uh, second always return the result of the function in a decimal points so now let's proceed and see how we can write up this distance function in salesforce classic here the syntax is given on your screen so here you can see that i have passed two parameter location one and location two and this parameter can accept a field and uh, you have to make sure that the both the parameters are of a data type geolocation if you pass any other data type to it it will produce an error the third parameter we have a unit which specifies the unit such as a mi for miles and km for the kilometer so now let's proceed and uh, learn to use of this distance function in salesforce lighting to calculate the distance between two points so let's move to our salesforce account so here I open my Salesforce account as an administrator. Once I successfully log down, you can see that uh, we are redirected to a home page of some application by default that is set as a landing page. Now I want to redirect myself to the main home setup page of a Salesforce Lightning. And for this, I click on click gear icon given on the top right side and click on this setup option. Once I click on that, it will take me to the page that uh, has a, a main home setup things on that and uh, here now our next agenda is to choose of the object on which you want to apply this uh, distance function for example let's suppose i want to track the distance between store location and the warehouse location so for this i want to create up the function and uh, the requirement of my function is that we just simply need up the order object for it so here we have a object manager given on the top of the navigation bar i click on that and here we have to search for the order as object in the list of these objects and here we have a quick find for that so here i type the order and once i type a order it will gives me result regarding that i click on this field label as a order and it will take me to the order manager page of this particular uh, object and on the left side you can see that we have a different option now it's time to click on the fields and relationship option to creating up one more field in this particular object when i click on that it will take me to the page where i will get a list of all the objects that are there in salesforce either it is a custom or the standard one so i just simply need to click on the uh, new button to create up the new field as i want to use up the function in it so we have to create up the new field so here i click on a new button it will take me to the step where i have to choose up the data type uh, for which i want to create up the uh, things so here as i told you our agenda is to use up the distance function so we have to choose up the formula as a data type because it's only have a function for it so once i click on the radio button and after that click on the next button and uh, once i click on the next button it takes me to the step where we have to choose up the field label and the field name here i want to enter the field label as a store locator so once i enter the field label that is uh, visible to the persons who are using uh, this salesforce account and uh, the field name is a uh, api name which is automatically get populated and if you want to change it you can do that but uh, it must follow up the naming convention for the field name and used up by the developer now by scrolling down you can see that we have one section of a formula return type here we have to choose up the return type for the formula and uh, you know that it uh, always uh, gives the result in a distance form so i want to be in a number format so i select the uh, radio button next to a number and uh, it will uh, 
selected it up now it gives me a decimal places it's automatically set up to two if you want to change it you can do that otherwise you need to click on the next button to proceed to the next step now in this next step we have to move to the advanced formula editor and enter the formula that use the distance function and in my case i want to calculate the distance between two location using the distance function so let's just enter up the formula here and after that we will learn the, the different thing so here I enter up my formula now to check whether it is correctly entered or not I simply click on the check syntax button when I click on that it will uh, gives the message that there is a no syntax error so I just want to let you know how, how I can create this formula so here you can see that on the right side we have a function section under this we have all category section from here I choose up the math as a section it gives me the function that are uh, reside in this uh, math function category so here we have a distance as a function I select that and here here we have a button of insert selected function by using it I simply insert it to the uh, formula editor cell so uh, to enter up the fields here we have insert field button when I click on that it will give me the list of all the fields that are uh, in a uh, this particular object uh, name as a on or order so here firstly I added up the store location so we have to scroll down to the S simply and uh, here we have a store location and you can see that we have three fields on the name of the store location the first is a store location that has extension of double underscore C we have also a store location as a latitude and store location as a longitude so we are just simply selecting up the field of a store location that has a double underscore C at their end so when we click on the insert button it get automatically selected to the function now the next thing is that if you want to add some operator you can also do that by clicking on this insert operator drop down it will give you the list of all the operators that are in salesforce and uh, now it's time to choose of the operator if you want to use any if you don't want to use just leave it and uh, if you want to app add the description and help text you can even add it uh, to make the things clear now to move to the next step i simply click on the next button now on the next button we have to set up the fee level security uh, in which i want to grant the edit access of the field via the field level security and if this uh, is not selected the field will be hidden from all the profile uh, in the field because of the field level security so here you can see that some of the profiles are checked and some of them are unchecked if you want to grant that assess of a visibling so you can set it to the uh, check and if you want to revoke the grant of this uh, edit assess you can uncheck the checkbox and if you want to grant the edit assess to all the profiles in a one go you can simply click on the checkbox given next to the visible after that you need to click on the next button to proceed to the next step now here you have to uh, choose up the page layout uh, where you want to include this uh, field here you can see that we have one page layout that is already in, uh, selected here and you have to note down this uh, field is added as the last field in the first two column of this page layout and uh, here if you not choose up any page layout the field will not appear on any of the page layout or the that particular page layout after doing such things you simply need to click on the save button and once you click on the save button it's successfully created of the formula uh, that use the distance function and calculates the distance between two points now to ch check that it's working correctly or not we have to click on the app launcher and once I click on app launcher it will open up the search and app items so here I am just searching for the uh, orders as an object because uh, here uh, I am creating for the orders so here I get the orders here I click on that and when it gets open it will take me to the page where I will get the list of all the orders that are already in Salesforce now let's edit uh, one of the order to check that how it's working so I click on the drop down and click on the edit option given next to it it will take me to the uh, page and it shows that there is some backend issue in this uh, order of object so we are not able to use it there is a no problem in the code it is properly working it's just a backend issue from my side of the salesforce so you just need uh, to enter up the fields that you have created just you put 
up the values in it and it will gives you the result for the formula field so now let's proceed and learn to calculate the distance between two points using this distance function in salesforce classic and for that we firstly need to click on the uh, profile to shift ourselves to the classic interface and here we have option of a switch to a salesforce classic i click on that it will take me to the new classic uh, home page and you can see that it gives me uh, uh, all such uh, updated things on the home page now to create up the uh, new field on which i can use this uh, distance function for that you need to click on the setup option and once you click on that it will take me to the page where we have a setup for the salesforce classic now i scroll down redirect to the build section here i have a customized drop down i expand it and from here it gives me a standard operators now it's time to choose up the operator on which you want to use up this distance function in my case i want to use it it on a leads as i want to track the punctuality probability of the employees so here i click on the uh, lead drop down and it gives me a different option and from these option i click on the fields option as i want to create a formula field that use up the uh, distance function for it now it's take me to the page where i will get the list of all the uh, standard as well as a primary uh, fields that are in this particular object now to create uh, more fields we have to click on the new button that is given under the lead and the custom fields and relationship section when i click on the new it will uh, takes me to the page where we have to set up the profile uh, or you can see a data type uh, that specify the information that you want to store so as our agenda is to use up the distance function i choose up the uh, formula as a data type for it and click on the next button once i click on the next button it's take me to the next step where i have to enter the field label so here i enter the field label as a punctuality probability so here i just type it simply and you can see that the field name get automatically populated and act as an API and here we have a formula return type and here I choose the number as a formula return type here the decimal places is automatically set to the two if you want to change it you can do that changes and after that you need to click on the next button once you click on the next button it proceed to the next step where we have to create up the advanced formula that calculate the distance between two points employee location and the office location using this distance function so here let's just enter me the formula for it first so here i pasted my formula for calculating the punctuality probability if you want to get this formula we already have an article on that how we use the distance function in salesforce and the link of that article is available in the description box you can go here and check it now to check whether it is correct or not i click on the check syntax button if there is a no error it will gives me a no error message otherwise it's produce an error message here basically we are passing the two location points that is a, lo a client location and the organization location and here i set its unit to the kilometer as i pass key m and uh, you can see that it gives me a result in the distance format because i use these things in a distance function next we check that whether the resultant distant value is greater than 20 kilometer or not if it is it prints that 50 which means there is only 50 percent and uh, a 50 percent punctuality probability that the client reaches on the time if it is not it prints 100 percent means there is a 100 percent punctuality punctuality of a probability that the client reach on a time and uh, if there is a less than 20 there is a very less punctuality in the employee now if you want to add any description or help text you can do that otherwise you just simply need to click on the next button to proceed to the next step uh, on which we have to set up the field level security now here you have to select the field level security uh, uh, in a salesforce here you have to select the profile to which you want to grant the edit access to the particular field and this field will be hidden from all the profile if you don't add the field level security in salesforce now you can see that here some of the visible check boxes are selected some of them unchecked if you want to make them checked uh, they can open this field level security and check and uncheck the boxes also and uh, if they want to uh, revoke the permission from the already checked uh, option you can also do that and after doing such things you just simply need to click on the next button and once you reached on the next button it will gives you the step that on which you have to enter the field to the page layout the field will be added as the last field in the first two column of these pages and this field will not appear to you to do uh not select any layout and here you can see that all the page layout are by default selected 
and uh, if some of them are uh, not uh, by default uh, selected you can do that by checking the checkbox and after doing all this uh, think you, you need to click on the save button and once you click it will uh, successfully created up the formula in lead uh, by using the distance function now to check how it's working just i open up my lead account given on the top of the navigation bar and once it get open automatically opened here i am going to randomly edit one lead by clicking on it and once i click on that it will take me to the page of this lead and now it's time to check whether it is working or not so here i am going to enter the client location and the organizational uh, location so here i click on edit button and uh, here i enter the uh, client latitude client longitude organizational location and lo organization location in longitude so after doing changes i click on a save button once i click on a save button you can see that it gives me an error that it must be between uh, minus 90 to 90 it's not more than that so here i am going to change up the value to 75 and here i am going to set it for the minus 5.98 and click on a save button to check how it's completely work when i click on save it uh, again give me an error that uh, uh, this latitude also must be within the minus 90 to the 90 here i am going to change it so here i randomly put up one value and uh, again click on a save button to to save the record and here you can see that it takes you back to the page where you will get the result of the client location um, by using the distance function this is the client location in salesforce so with this we have ends our two days topic that is a distance function of a salesforce so if you like this video click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one thanking you for watching and have a great day